Hello, my name is Riley Shields, and I will be telling you today about the life of the runaway slave, William Grimes. I will be dividing the life of William Grimes into different categories, starting with a little bit of background information about the author. Then I will go into physical abuse that he experienced uh, by the slave owners, followed by physical abuse he experienced by other slaves, and then going on to mental abuse. And then an interesting category is his thoughts on slavery. And with that, this will end. A little background information about the author is that William Grimes wrote the narrative himself. Uh, he was born in 1784. Uh, there was no date or month that I could find. Uh, he was the son of a wealthy plantation owner and a slave of the local doctor. Uh, after freedom in 1814, he married Clarissa Caesar in 1817, and they had 18 children together. He died in August of 1865, around the age of 81. Two examples of times when uh, William Grimes suffered physical abuse by slave owners was on page 9. Uh, he says, by being raised upon the shoulders of another slave, and the slave to confine my hands around his breast. In this situation they gave me about 40 or 40 of 50 lashes they whipped me until I hardly had any feeling in me Grimes would continue with this saying that they would have continued to beat him if a doctor hadn't been present and stopped them out of fear that they would kill him and this was that was when he was a young child uh, later on in his life he says in page 24 that his another slave owner uh, physically abused him. He says, he immediately fell foul of me with a large stick and beat me most unmercifully until I really thought he would kill me. I begged him, I begged of him to detest, desist, sorry, as I was perfectly innocent. He not believing me still continued to beat me until his strength was entirely exhausted. Uh, background information about this one was that uh, Grimes had a conflict with another slave and the slave told a lie to their owner, uh, saying that uh, William Grimes stole his umbrella. And because William Grimes said that he didn't, his slave owner beat him. Two examples of physical abuse William Grimes suffered by other slaves are on page 10 and page 14 of his narrative. Page 10 says, I remained on the plantation about two years under a black overseer by the name of Volantine who punished me repeatedly to make me perform more labor than the rest of the boys. Another example is on page 14, and he says, but I'd rather be whipped by him, referring to his owner, the slave owner, than the overseers, and especially the black overseers. Oh, how much I have suffered from these black drivers. This is a reference back up to page 10 of Volantine and how Volantine used to punish him. And uh, after Volantine, there was another black overseer that Grimes served under, and th that overseer would also beat Grimes. A few examples of mental abuse that William Grimes experienced through his life are found on page 23 and 24 of his narrative. On page 23, he says, at such times, I would often go to a fortune teller, and by paying her 25 cents, she would tell me what she said my fortune would be. She told me that I eventually should eventually get away, but that it would be attended with a great deal of trouble, and truly experienced a vast deal of trouble before I could get away. In this example, he had lost his feeling of control over his own life to the point where he was having to ask the advice and paying other people to give him advice, which is why I call it a mental abuse that slavery had occurred, or that occurred to him because of slavery. Uh, page 24, he begins a unusual uh, conversation about a, another slave that he worked with called Frankie. He says, I called her Aunt Frankie, Aunt Frankie, as plain as I could, until she got up, got upon me and began to exercise her enchantments on me. I was then entirely speechless, making a noise like one apparently choking or strangling. Uh, he believed that this Frankie was a witch and that she would use enchantments on him 
so that he couldn't talk and no one would be able to help him and no one would believe him that she was a witch. And she was the person, if you remember the physical abuse by a slave owner, she was the slave who told the slave owner that William Grimes had stolen the umbrella. William Grimes's narrative had a lot to say on slavery in a, as a whole. He, uh, in page five, he says, referring to his birth in Virginia, he says that Virginia is a land boasting its freedoms and under a government whose motto is liberty and equality. I was yet born a slave. Grimes is trying to explain to the audience, the reader, that something here seems wrong, especially in Grimes' in Grimes's eyes. Uh, another example is she told him, which frightened him very much, thinking he should lose me, which would grieve him as much as it would to lose a fine horse of the same value. Um, this is an example of when William Grimes was pretending to be sick so that he wouldn't have to get into trouble or wouldn't have to do uh, hard work that his slave owner wanted him to do. And this is an interesting one because he openly states that slavery is essentially making his life equal to that of a horse. And he was a very intelligent individual. Uh, another example is how he ends his narrative saying, if it were not for the stripes on my back, which were made while I was a slave, I would, in my will, leave my skin a legacy to the government, desiring that it might be taken off and made into parchment and then bind the Constitution of glorious, happy, and free America. Let the skin of an American Spain slave bind the, care, or bind the charter of, the, of American liberty. He was so against slavery, as you would imagine, that he was willing to give his own skin to prove a point. And that is how he ends his narrative, and that is how we will end this conversation about William Grimes. These are the sources I used in my research of William Grimes. They are all from the uh, Documenting the American South website. Thank you for uh, watching and learning more about William Grimes. I believe his uh, narrative, as well as several other narratives, uh, should be read through and understood as it would help, even in today's society, for us to understand racial relations. Thank you.